Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we're back to Oxenfree. So I guess Oxenfree is a pretty decent name for this game, but it's really not fully matching with the story so far. The story's been taking way too long to, to ramp up and tell us much. And unfortunately, it does feel like if I don't just rush through this game, I'm going to forget the key points of information that I think they want you to remember. That Hangman game in particular, we got two out of three of those questions right because I paid a moderate amount of attention as far as every little backstory, every little thing being said. And that probably is the hint in the thing that was supposed to train us to pay attention to every single conversation because anything and everything could be important. Uh, more directly, we're trying to save Ren. And we're probably going to run into a time loop again if I was to guess. Uh, I would suspect they've got it designed in such a way that you run into a time loop before you run into each character because that's been true for two characters why wouldn't it be true for the third um and finding the anomalies i think is the right move oh i think i remember reading that this well is supposed to be the first thing ever um built or whatever on the island back in the 1600s hmm. it doesn't have a sign or anything it uh, used to i think Let's see if our radio tells us anything about it. Dredged by Franciscan friars, this <laughs> freshwater well was never actually used, as the missionaries quickly decided the island wouldn't suit their ministering needs and abandoned the project in 1852. It was Why would you build a well first? For a while, until it became a secondary resource for mining companies to get clean water. The U.S. Hmm. Navy ended up digging their own, more modern water pipeline, but servicemen and women would come here frequently for off-site meetings and day events. Like, first of by Franciscan Fry the, these, the idea that you'd build a well before you built, like, a tent or a temporary shelter, I mean, I guess what sh she really means is it's the only thing that still remains, one of the first things built. But it takes a lot of effort to build a well, and you wouldn't do it, missionaries wouldn't do it, uh, well, smart missionaries wouldn't do that, and then abandon the whole project. Uh, it takes a lot of time. Let's see if there's anything around these rocks. We're still in a weird position with the, the radio, though. Like, that's our job. About three square miles of limestone and coral. We're seeing some rocks here. What do we do? But these don't. These don't seem like anything. What was our job going to be exactly? I don't know if it is a case that these items in particular are supposed to be. Uh. Are, are supposed to be Let's see and that would just go to the outpost and probably unlock the gate uh, yeah what I was trying to say there uh, I'm absent-minded clearly uh, maybe the little red herring clips are trying to tell us and communicate something with us maybe the aliens are trying to say something there what was our job? But it doesn't all make sense. This island has had many owners. And I think Fortune it is explorers, mostly Spanish just settlers, but few stayed long gibberish. preferring the ranch work offered by the mainland. After mm. 1890, the island was gifted to Colonel Caleb Edwards for his part mm. in the American Indian Wars, and he would lease it to several mining companies throughout the early 1900s. Mm. This relay station served as the center of a makeshift railroad that carted coal to northern and southern piers. When Edwards died, the government mm. saw a hole in national security at the outset of World War II and decided to take control of the island once again, founding Fort Milner in 1941. This island has had many. So, the relay station kind of implies Guys, that it's Jesus, a. It took you forever 
order to get here? What happened? Some place where they would. My mind. Hearing things, seeing things. Hey, we came, all right? We're here to rescue you, hmm. so just be appreciative. I'm appreciative, but I can still nitpick your methods. Do you have, like, any idea? So we wanted to on? try and not scare him. Okay, that must be the way station. And actually, help me understand why would an island need anything like that anyway? Um. Ugh, Jonas, we're repeating the same stuff again. We are? Oh, it's kind of weird that you can tell when it's happening and I can't, right? I mean, it's not like... I mean, I'm glad someone can tell, but... I'm more worried about the actual, like, hmm. whole time falling apart thing than whether or not you noticed it, Jonas. Yeah, no, that's, um, still on my mind. Trust me. So here we've got, like, a ghost... spirit... that we're gonna have to walk by. I mean, I don't think we have any other opportunity. Boy. Hmm. Hey, Ren! We made it, finally! Um, Ren? Seriously, Ren, you can have a drug freak out on your own time. I don't have the patience to worry about you right now, so come on, look alive here. And so, yeah. What might be interesting here is hey, if, if... In Friars, this freshwater well was never actually used, hmm. as the missionaries quickly decided the island wouldn't suit their Was it Franciscan Friars before? It was utilized by Spanish pioneers for a while, until it became a secondary resource for mining companies to get clean water. Hmm. The U.S. Navy ended up digging their own, more modern water pipeline, but servicemen and women would come here frequently for off-site meetings and day events. Dredged by Franciscan friars. No, it did not say Franciscan friars before. So I think we've confirmed that these are alternate realities. Um, and not just split off alternate realities that that branched a few hours ago when we opened the caves, but alternate realities that we would have definitely had major differences with over a very long time. I don't know if it really hurts too much to go either way. Hmm. It would be pretty ridiculous if this game gave us different endings just based on different directions we went. And yeah, I don't I don't know if we're gonna end up seeing him dead, but probably. And it's a broken Red phone. Must have used this to call us. Oh, it looks smashed. Hmm. So there's definitely some creepiness, uh, human-like imageries on the wall just down there below. And here we have a What's he doing? tape he, like, player. Sleepwalking? I don't know how he like fell asleep during all this, but. I've seen sleepwalking, okay? Michael hmm. sleepwalked, and the worst he'd do is take his pillow into the hallway. Hmm. This is like something else. So we've got two tape players. So do we want him to go to the relay station, or do we want him to go back to the... Ren? You in there? Hmm. Come on, pal. The neighbors are here, and they want to borrow some sugar. This isn't a guy on drugs. Not that I want to, like, hmm. alarm you. Yeah, I don't want to say the word possession here, but... <laughs> but what? But I don't know how to finish that sentence. So do we want to play the tape player that would have him go this direction? Or do we want him to play the tape player that would potentially have him go this direction? Or do we have to play them both? I guess a new location is probably better than an old location, but... I don't know if you remember, but the last time we got stuck, we used one of these things to get out of it. So I'm not just messing around right now. Yeah, I remember, I remember. Hmm. Kind of. Maybe we have to... Spin it? Yeah, I have to spin it with the right stick. I'd forgotten about that. I was moving the left stick. Hmm. 
Yeah, and it seems like we have to do this, both of them. Let's spin this one backwards, the other direction, and see if it kind of counters the audio. Hey, where'd Ren go? He was standing <laughs> right there. Ren, are you still here? Hmm. And yeah, we'll probably get a creepy death sequence. I... there's a ghost up there. Yeah, I just don't... get... and really feel like there's much of a game here. Um... crap. I don't... maybe we shouldn't, um, go near him? Ren, can you... can you hear me? I mean, I know they say don't move somebody with a spine injury, hmm. but it's like... we gotta do something, right? Hmm. Yeah, um, any thoughts on what we could do? If I did have any thoughts on what would solve this, wouldn't that be a little weird? See, you're not really given any choice here. You're just kind of on a roller coaster ride where you have to see the events. It doesn't feel very interactive. It, it, it feels kind of dumb. If Unless you're just completely enthralled in the story. Uh... <laughs> I feel like I'm just getting dragged around on a leash. So, with since it's a game and I have no fear, I'm fairly certain we're not gonna die. I'm just gonna walk right up to him. Um, well, that didn't work. Hmm. I can't go any further. Uh, I must have to tune something into him. We did hear a hint that said if you get the right frequency, you would get you'd be able to see the energy around people. We do see energy around people. And it sounds like he's saying left and right. But me moving right is actually moving the signal uh, and the symbols to the left. Maybe there's two different species of ghosts or aliens here. And we're fighting against them. Jesus, Ren, are, are you... Our stepbrother just disappeared. Feels stretched. Better. No. Jonas, where did you? We are abounding. Not one. one. Silly. Mm -hmm. But do not be stupid. You are dolls. Would never plot. Hurt you. The subtitles are different. We just want to go home. Home. Kamina. We will go home. All of us. Leave. Possible. Uh, maybe? But I, I don't really... That's what I said at the beginning of the game. They're making more sense now. So it almost seems like Maggie Adler caused this a long time ago. My heart's going like a hummingbird in a 
Ren, Jesus, are you all right? Oh yeah, man, I still hate just cutting just people off. Give me a week. Like, I think the Why? the Why right way to play Why? this game Actually, for coming, is to just sure. stop is talking. Happening? I mean, I've been completely. Here. I visited this place like 15 times, and before now, the worst thing that ever happened was like a kid would lose his shorts to the undertow. We're in big trouble, Ren. Really big trouble. We need to hmm. call somebody or get a boat, but we need to get out of here. It's ghosts. She I'm say not it, sure if we're you were we're gonna one. be free even that if we left the island. That doesn't seem this like could be affecting of all of the universe. Guys, anyone? Is this thing working? Hmm. If Don't anyone can hear this out there in a whatever, I, I'm at the con tower on Edwards Island. Hmm. Hey, she listened to us. Great. So, if anyone can, what is this? I, I'm trying to communicate with the. Does she know how to even work that stuff? Doesn't sound like it. Ugh. Can't, like, anyone work a two-way radio? Didn't everyone have that, like, one trucker uncle who let them work <laughs> the CB a few times for fun? Guess not. I think no. that's our cue, then. It's kind of a shortcut back to the communication tower if we go through this fence. Shouldn't take that long. Hmm. I think it's actually locked. Not from this side. It's a little latch. I could see it from the window. So, yeah, we probably played the game right. The only difference, I guess, is that maybe in the story we would have saved Rin and then Clarissa would have died. Like, it almost seems like Clarissa has to play a antagonist role, otherwise we're not going to have much of an antagonist role at all, which is very possible also. It'd be really funny if it time-looped now, because that would be annoying. That's, that that would be very very annoying if if it if it made you feel like you had accomplished something and then undid that accomplishment. So there still feels like there's a decent chance that Maggie Adler is the character we're playing as, or. Uh, Clarissa too, or could be Nona also. Uh, each of these areas seems to have like one event oh, that happens. You know what just in my head just Although the time frame might be, uh, be an indicator a of or a horse farm, but but that makes it sound like they have a little hmm. cabbage patch field of what. What are you talking about? A year ago, out in Salem, we took over a stable and our band played, and you, you ditched that hmm. test again, right? To, to bring us a new amp? Because during the sound check, we blew ours. None of this is sparking any synapses. What about tonight made this pop into your head? Is, hmm. it, is it just because we're, like, outside? I don't know, but I can't believe you didn't tell Jonas this story yet. I don't know the story either. This, like, super important for school placement aptitude test once, and... Guess we should talk. Why'd you do that? Um, I think she was indisposed you know i uh i can't even remember michael had just died like a month or two before and i i don't know i just wasn't in the quizzing mood but you know it's whatever that's that's not part of the story anyways hmm. she was gonna retake it. that's a weird day, phrasing uh, i had an emergency call her way out in the just picture like little house on the prairie i don't know what that is it's a uh, really you don't know what little house on the prairie is wait you blew off an important test to get in an amp really that was the hmm. thing you did well yeah i mean maybe i would have done things differently now but hmm. you know whatever and the funny part is i'd taken that same test after dosing a bunch of cough medicine and i still aced it so she would have blown it out of the water and even knowing that she still came out to help me that's awesome right well you failed to tell me that part maybe that's why this hmm. is a more meaningful memory to me than you yeah i think hmm. i'm with alex on this one she probably should have stuck around and taken that test really even if at the time she didn't care, how come? Hmm. Why do you think so? Listen, it's just... Like, hmm. if I was good at what you guys are good at, which is being smart, I wouldn't waste one of my few remaining test days on a show in a barn. Interesting. No hey, none taken. <laughs> I don't I think don't aptitude really. tests in really? high school are really that important. Show. And Mindy got drunk, and it was funny, and the test... Mindy? Laugh, so... Amen. All right. 
I don't know who Mindy is as a character. So, do we want to run our way back this direction and try and find Clarissa? Or do we just kind of forget her? If there are going to be things that we could see if we go out of our way to see them, uh, I don't... I don't really think in the first playthrough it's realistic that most players would do that. And frankly, just like another conversation or something different happening because it's a different time doesn't seem like really worth the 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 effort. Like I, I kind of just want to rush the story forward, and I think that's probably the right way to play this. Uh, anomalies wise, though, we we're missing like seven of them. Mm -hmm. What we'll want to see here is if the time goes forward an hour um, when we go to a new area. Because that might be an in indicator that oh, you should... Crap. This isn't it. This is just coming out of speakers in the roof thing, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> She's adorable, isn't she? Ugh. Hmm. My god, is this what I sound like? Where's Clarissa? How can anyone stand yeah, to listen to me all day? for pinching. Yeah, let's see how she is. I, I really and, uh, hate how sarcastic so our character is. There. My stupid chest's on fire for some reason. Smoke will do that. Yes, it mm. will. So, the time didn't go forward, but there was something that happened in that scene. But otherwise, that was just a very trans transitional oh, hey area. Guys. Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna stop talking since obviously isn't working. So just come on up and you can help or something. Mm. God, this stupid thing. She doesn't sound hmm. good, right? She sounds a little off. I don't know her well enough. She's probably at least a little scared. She was freaked hmm. out when we ran into her, and we still haven't found her best friend. So. Just. Hmm. I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? I, I kinda, think. You know, it's just about to start doing its thing. We. Ren, we need you sober right now. We need you capable. <laughs> How could you be so stupid? Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like it was like half <laughs> of one, all right? It's just to level me out. It'll it'll bring me back up. That's what it does. If you're down, it brings you up. I cannot believe you. You're going to keel over in like a purple haze while we try and save our lives. I'm going to be <laughs> fine. Last time I just ate too much. This was a gimme. It's baby food. Oh, God. Yep, clearly this guy is not going to be any help. So, we... But we tried to save Clarissa first. Uh, I'm kind of just hoping that what we'll do is we'll deposit th our male friend up at the tower, and then we'll be a task sent on another task to go and maybe try and find Clarissa again because clearly there's more that needs to happen here and ideally this won't be another time loop or something where we uh we where we end up with nona disappearing or dying uh it wouldn't have been a terrible idea if this was a time loop in general and just every time you tried to climb it it just sent you back up until you had all of your friends but the game would almost have to tell you directly that because uh, otherwise it's it's not this thing doesn't work not getting anything hmm. i'm getting something but it's like i don't know we heard you on the squawk box when hmm. i tried it i just got static and a, a weird sound so that's about all that hmm. i'm getting uh sorry i was like weird earlier but, hmm. hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been, like, hmm. out there. Uh, Look, yeah. we tuned into something in the cave, and it was like Gabriel sounded the trumpet. Just everything went terrible. That's a weird biblical and, uh, reverence. Ghosts. Yes, that. Ghosts? Really? Yeah, and it would really help if you could just hmm. jump to the believing us part. It would save a headache. So, I imagine... Oh, I got it. This is great. This, this is perfect. our male exactly friend... Do. do you? Yeah, was totally. 
probably seeing Ghost also. Yeah, she has a boat. Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's not. She's dead. Ren, what? You could have mentioned this at any point. I mean, we walked right past it. I know. I'm sorry, but I've been like stewing in my own panic here for the last couple hours. My sister Allie worked at the parks office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so no, 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 we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident burnout. Hey, come on. I'm not a burnout. Okay. Well, and I'm not saying it's the best plan, but what other plan is there really, Jonas? Oh, I don't know. Fix the radio. Find Clarissa. Set fire to the mug shop. And these are just off the top of my head. Yeah, I'm mm. so worried about Clarissa. They keep hinting Wait, at Pyro. Pyro, man. Saying literally do that. I'm just starting fires. Things we can do. <laughs> which I think is the but reason why he was in jail as he started the fire. It is He's a pyromaniac. We're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? You had Alex bring the radio. You brought us here. Jonas, you know we tuned into that thing. We kicked the door open to... Whatever this is. Oh, give me a break. This night is like a it's like a hmm. giant ugly misery stew that This is oddly different That's writing what compared to Jonas. Yeah, He's been on. pretty it be passive. To even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Alex knows Guys, you know there's no television cameras hmm. here, right? Take the energy down a notch. It's Alex, weird that two guys would his hands. start this fighting so much. This guy. I, I can't believe you're even kind of defending him. Jonas. Hmm. I know you said Ren is like harmless or whatever, but I'm over giving him passes. And you should be too. I don't kind of agree. A pass from you. Alex is my best friend. Yeah. Guys, stop it. Stop. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look, I don't care what caveman Jonas says. <laughs> There is, is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house, and the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the hmm. backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... not, not that you wouldn't hmm. be okay. Honestly, anything to get me off this tower and away from this specific configuration of yelling people would do wonders for me right now. Hmm. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need like three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my like brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. Just you... shut up, both of you. <laughs> That's my Sorry. feeling. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend mm. on the whole night. Yes, keeping in mind who you're mm. tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller. Who do you want coming? So, up? Nona, wanna come with me? What? Really? I mean, I guess. <laughs> why are you me shack up with it's this guy? My friggin We've been plan. together the entire Why? This is why. Easiest question I've been asked all night. This is a total punt, Alex. <laughs> yeah, this no, is fine. This will be. They're, they're making you pick you which potentially. Sides, sides, but no, nobody's happy with this. Hmm. Uh. Hey, Nona's happy. You're happy, right? Um, sure. So, yeah, that doesn't seem like that's really going to change too much, though, because we're all obviously going to get back with this group um, at some time. Otherwise, all of that foreshadowing stuff is, is going to be kind of pointless. Um, so here you have actually both of them kind of doing their drug of choice and being overly hostile with Ben and Jonas over here smoking, Ben eating edibles. <sighs> yeah. Like, the, the smarter long-term choice would have been to take Jonas. This whole story has been you and Jonas this whole time. And I suppose you could potentially play this game three different times and have three different characters. It'd be a little weird if this was almost like a Maniac Mansion game and we we go through one playthrough with Nona and then we she dies and then we get rewound all back to this decision and then we have to do a play playthrough with 
Ben and he dies and then we have to do a playthrough with Jonas and he dies and then there, there's like a fourth option that unlocks uh, on that final time loop. It's getting foggy and creepy and she's not following me. Hmm. She was just waiting I guess until I completely walked down the ladder. Scientifically, it's a pretty smart idea to bring somebody other than Jonas because uh, we've been experiencing a lot of weirdness with Jonas, so if there is some kind of reason that you and Jonas together are causing the creepiness, uh, having someone different to observe things and, and give a different perspective, or perhaps uh, to change the factors and the variables is really good. And Ken, Ken was also involved in some creepiness, whereas uh, Nona has only talked about seeing creepiness, and that's about it. Hmm. Hmm. You know, I do remember you from Mr. Tuttle's class. You sit in the, uh, hmm. back, behind Jake. I just forgot. Hmm. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, hey, it's, it's nothing hmm. to be sorry about. She's coughing too. Much, so I don't know why you remember me. I'm also just mm. like never there. It's a loophole where I don't know if you know this, but if you ditch, you get a detention, and if you don't go to that, you get suspended. But <laughs> suspensions are like paid vacation. You can just do your work over. So mm. it's like, what's the point? But you miss the class. Isn't that like the most important part? How do you even learn anything? Jenny, the TA, she lets me practice ballet in her studio. So, I learned jumping. That's enough. Oh, and mm. don't tell anyone, but my birthday's in three days, and I'm having a thing, and you're invited. I, think I feel like... Town, so, it shouldn't be a problem. Well, happy early birthday! In my family, we celebrate... I feel like she was just lying place. there completely. Thanks. I'm sorry. Mm. I don't even know why I brought it up. That's not true. Mm. I was thinking about, uh, well, I'm worried about Clarissa, and, well, I was thinking about my last birthday when, you know, mm. actually, sorry, never mind. This has nothing to do with anything. I'm just in a fog right now. Mm. No, come on, I want to hear this. It was last year, mm. your birthday. Go. Just, this was when Nicole was in her car accident, and so, of course, we cancel and go visit her, and I'm not going to pout about that. It's common decency. It's fine. But afterwards... Totally Did Nicole night, have a car accident and kill Michael? And surprised me with this huge cake. And we stayed up and watched all my favorite movies. Hmm. And she didn't have to do that. That's sweet, actually. Hmm. Anyways, my birthday's in three days. And I just hope she's okay. That's all. Hmm. We'll find her, Nona. I'm not leaving without her. Ugh. Yeah, I know. The, the thing is, they said we were puppets and they wouldn't let us come to harm. So, if that's to be believed, I think Clarissa is probably fine, even though she's acting creepy. Uh, we really haven't had any conversation with Nona up until this point. And so now she just feels really weird that we are having conversations with her. We need like two more photos, so I don't know if we're now kind of in the second act where nothing we're not gonna get any photos. Or the last two photos only come at the end of the game or would have only unlocked if we had kept Jonas with us, who was I think the person that was mostly taking photos. Although I kinda think all the characters. I wouldn't be surprised if we start finding letters now, now that we have a secondary goal. Uh but yeah, it, it feels like there there is some more bits of information being trickled down. Unfortunately, what I really would like is instead of just having a map here, it would have been nice in the um, in the menu to kind of have a diagram or some profiles of the characters that are getting mentioned. This Nicole character has been mentioned twice now, and I don't think. No, she was, I think, mentioned th three times because I think she was the one that had the party that got all the other kids uh, in trouble so they didn't show up on the island. 
So she might very well be the unmentioned through line that if we could go back in time and erase Nicole from causing certain actions, potentially having a car wreck, which very possibly might have been the thing that killed my biological brother, uh, then she probably wouldn't have turned into too, too much of a mess slash party girl to throw a party that would get them caught. Uh, I think it also is worthy to mention that, sure, if you skip class, you get detention. If you skip detention, you get uh, suspended. Uh, that is the typical thing. But what they don't tell you is, and, and I don't know why they really don't emphasize this so much, if you skip detention and just stop going to school in general at that point, because that's pretty much all it is, they will straight up expel you. <laughs> Uh, or fail you. There, there's state requirements in at least the United States as far as the number of days you can miss, and the schools can, uh, and sometimes, I guess in rare cases, do manipulate that in a way to completely have you fail a grade. Um, there's, they're, they're making the rules effectively so they can do all kinds of nasty things, and if you don't attend school whatsoever, uh, if if they kick you out of the school because you didn't attend or or uh, they fail you, uh, well, your state requirements also say you get some form of education. Otherwise, your parents get ticketed or thrown in jail. So um, the the only real way you could get out of going to school, which is a terrible idea, like as as terrible as school may be. Uh, at times, it's a average experience for everybody to get everybody up to at least a decent level of of commonality and understanding. Uh, but the only way you could really get around that is homeschooling. And homeschooling then kind of forces a parent to not work, which then kind of forces this extra permanent financial burden. So you, you, can, uh, you can pretty much ruin a parent's life as a as a school system or as just a student that that's bad now we we are we did get a bit of information that nona wants to be uh i guess in ballet ballet is a very very niche career like you can do it as a hobby but you have to be in like the top one millionth percentile i would roughly estimate to to be good enough to be in the probably about 20 theater troops out there that can do it enough to make enough money that that is their only career. Almost all other ballerinas are doing some other things. So it, she's dooming herself to maybe doing ballet as a hobby, which is kind of an expensive hobby. And the, those tutus and special ballet shoes wear out uh, and they're, they're custom made expensive things. So she's dooming herself to an expensive hobby and unlikely, uh, an unlikely chance of making any money. So she's probably going to end up working two or three jobs uh, of extremely low pay, uh, burger flipper type jobs, because she is setting herself up to not get into a college at all, let alone maybe not even graduate from high school. Uh, although Nona is old enough. Uh, being a junior high school student, it really wouldn't be impossible for her to get a GED and get out of school that way. But also, she's like two years away from graduating from high school anyway, so she just puts up with it and and uh, deals with it that way. Uh, you might as well uh, just graduate and get a high school diploma. So, yeah, she's... Nona seems to be a mess up, uh, a bit of a screw up too, much like Ken. Um, I mean, they're kids, they're all screw ups. I'm not expecting perfect perfection from them or anything like that, but it, it does kind of seem like uh, I am being depicted, the main character that I'm playing as is being depicted as this super smart person, uh, kind of a Mary Sue character, a little bit. I wouldn't say a lot but when you add the fact that she seems to be mostly perfect 
and just having a lot of people and bad things happen around her uh, that aren't really her fault. And then she seems to be the person who makes all the decisions ever. It would have been a lot more interesting at the tower had they looked at the affinity points I had developed and decided um, if I had more affinity points with one person, I would go with one person or more affinity points with another point person, I go with another person. Uh, that being said, almost certainly I would have ended up with Jonas. And I think most people would have ended up with Jonas because we had way less opportunities to interact with Ben and almost no opportunities to interact with um, Nona. So that that really wouldn't have worked either. And it would have been irritating. There was a missed game that worked that way where it had three endings based on how you played the game. But in all likelihood, you were going to get the one ending that was most common and you'd have to play in a very weird way that you would have never realized you could have even played that way to get the other endings. Anyways, that's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below in the description box. And if you want to support me further, there's a link to Patreon, or you can friend me on Steam and gift me a game off my wishlist. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.